Hey, this is Mason from YouOuGhtToBeFree.com. I'm just wondering, uh, has the Pope left? Is he gone? Can, can we get back to the news now? I think I'm just joking. I love my Catholic brothers. I'm glad you're excited about what's happening with the Pope in town and, and have a great time. But gee, let's get back to the news now, folks. <laughs> we have an invasion going on and uh, we have an election coming up and we have no coverage from the news. No coverage from the news. Uh, I'm wondering, are we going to be a nation that's going to vote based on your appearance on Comedy Central? Are we going to decide our president based on if it's going to be a woman facing a woman, if it's going to be a black man faced to be placed on the black man? Are we going to really, really, really discuss this in this time, in this season? Or are we going to get back to adult conversation? I don't really care about the candidate's personal life. I don't care about what they like for, for dinner or they can dance or sing. I do not absolutely care. What I do care about is their history, their background. Give me some indication of what they're going to do. Uh, I, I want a business person. Folks, our Constitution was not written for politicians to be in charge of the government. Our Constitution was written for the individual to be part of the government. George Washington was not a politician. Jefferson was not a politician. Very few of our founding fathers were politicians. Some were lawyers, but many were farmers and business owners. They wrote the Constitution to restrict government. Every line in the Constitution restricts government, not people. I heard one cop tell me once, driving is a right, not a privilege. Are you kidding me? Name me what other privileges the government gives me. Everything I do is a right. I restrict government. It does not restrict me. So let's take this election cycle seriously. We the people are in charge of what happens to our country. You and I are in charge. If you allow them to tell you, you can't trust me because of where I live, how I live, the color of my skin, my gender, my income level, whatever difference you can tell folks, each and every one of us is different from each and every one of us. That's irrelevant. Let's band together on spiritual lines, economic lines. How about patriotic lines? Instead of white privilege, how about American privilege? Instead of black lives matter, how about black lives matter? How about getting back to the founding principles of our nation? The idea. Sure, we have problems in our, in our past. Sure, the nation had to tear itself apart many times to get back in line with those principles. But they got back in line with those principles. When the Constitution was written, women couldn't vote. Only white men and own property could vote. I got that. Black folks couldn't vote, even though the first black first person that died in the revolution was Christmas Addicts, a black man. I got, I got all that. I know my history. But the principles of our nation, the principles of our nation, eventually got to the point where women had the right to vote. The principles that we kept steering toward eventually got to the place that black folks could vote. The principles freed everyone here. Eventually, it freed you. Let's keep those principles for our children. Let's stop allowing the darkness that's always out there, the darkness that always comes forth trying to come against you. Let's not allow them to tear us apart by our differences. Join us at our meetings. Join us at the You Are To Be Free meeting near you coming up soon. Join us. Let's stand together and proclaim we will no longer be separated by our differences. We are Americans. God bless you. Stay right or be left.